Uh, I'm presenting the case of uh, Mrs. AMA, 38 years old female patient, married with two offspring, youngest is five years old. She's born and living in Cairo, Egypt. She has a Bachelor of Commerce and works as an office worker with no special habits of medical importance. She's right-handed. She came complaining of weakness of all four limbs and drooping of both eyelids. Uh, family history, her mother has diabetes and hypertension. Uh, she has non-consanguineous parents. Uh, her past history is irrelevant. Her, her menstrual history, she has irregular menses, and she has an IUD since five years for contraception. History of present illness, the condition started five years ago when the patient developed right eye ptosis that was marked in the morning, not associated with any limitation of gaze or visual affection, for which she did corrective surgery three years ago, but with no improvement. Three years ago, she started to develop gradual onset, progressive course of bilateral lower limb weakness, proximal more than distal. She experienced difficulty in climbing stairs and rising from a seated position with incidents of slippage of footwear, but it was proximal more than distal. With no account of further distribution, there was associated fasciculations in the thigh and calf muscles, muscle cramps particularly during sleep and radicular pain. There was hypotonia around the ankle and knee joints with no other uh, muscle affection or diurnal variation or fatigability or myotonia. There was also lower limb deep sensory affection. She reported having sense of walking on soft ground and swaying of gait related to darkness or eye closure. There was also uh, in her lower limb superficial sensory affection mainly limited to her feet. She sought medical advice, received non-specific treatment with no improvement. One year ago, she developed also gradual onset progressive course, uh, but this time it was her left eye ptosis with no other associated symptoms. Uh, mild bulbar symptoms, dysphagia more to fluids than solids with nasal regurgitation and hoarseness of voice being more prominent in the morning. Uh, bilateral upper limb weakness, proximal more than distal. She mainly reported heaviness, uh, difficulty in lifting heavy objects, but she was still able to pump her hair. There was no account of further distribution. There was hypotonia around the, the elbows and wrists with no account of further distribution associated with hypotonia around ankle and knee joints, but with minimal affection of her daily activities. She was prescribed paridostigmine, one tablet every four hours. Uh, it was only escalated once to seven tablets per day when she had COVID infection, but otherwise she was maintained on one tablet every four hours. Bernizolone, 20 milligrams, citalopram, and vitamins, all with no improvement. Four months ago, she took six sessions of plasmapheresis, followed by five days of IVIG with no improvement. Later on, she was prescribed rituximab, the first dose of which she received two months ago, after which she reported improvement regarding her ability to climb stairs and some sensory manifestation. Throughout history, there were no other motor sensory, cerebellar, cranial nerves, sphincteric, autonomic symptoms, or disturbance in conscious level or fits. There were no symptoms of cardiac or endocrinal or other system affection. أنا شايفاك يعني قلت ثلاث حاجات كده أو أربع حاجات مالهمش علاقة ببعض <تصفيق> لكن أنت واضح أنتوا بتعالجوها على إن هي أوتو أميون مايسينيا يعني لكن يو هاف توزيس ذن يو هاف فاسيكيوليشن ذن يو هاف سنسوري أفكشن فوات إز يور دايجنوزيس؟ مينلي وي وير كونسيدرينج سمثينج بريفرال نيرف أفكشن ذير إز موتور أند سنسوري أفكشن أوف بوث لوور لمبس أند أولسو إنفولفينج ذا أبر لمبس أسوسيتد ويز ذا هايبوتونيا والفاسيكيوليشنز يعني حاجه زي سي اي جي بي سي اي جي بي فاريان اه ومعاه الاوكولر الاوكولر بقى هو ذس از وات ميكس ذا برزنتيشن اتيبيكال نو نو ات كود بي يو هاف فاريانس اكيوت لايك ذا ميلر فيشر يو هاف اوكولر ات كود بي اي ثينك فين ريهام مش موجوده ريهام في السيست بتاعتها اي ثينك ذير از سم سي اي جي بي فاريانت ميبي ذير ويل بي اوكولر افكشن اوكي ميبي بات وات اباوت ذا فاسيكيوليشن <laughs> what about the fasciculation, Ya Radba? The patient reported the fasciculations, but I was not able to detect them on examination. Okay. But she reported them by his. I have to see the fasciculation by myself. And usually there will be atrophy and weakness. Mm -hmm. Not only the patient is complaining, mm -hmm. and uh, very important. فانت شايفه ان هي نيوروجينيك شي ذي ار ثينكينج ذات ذيس از ا نيوروجينيك لايك ذا سي جي سي اي جي بي فاريانت واتس يور اوبينيون ا سو اي اي وو اي ميس ميبي ذا انتي بوديز انتي راك انتي بوديز انتي ماس يس وي ديد ذا انتي بوديز اند ات واز نيجاتيف 
only ganglioside sulfatide IgM was weak positive, but the rest of the battery was negative. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, okay. the decremental response with the engine? It was negative on the nerve conduction. We have the, the, the testing themselves, we have the papers. I can show them to you. But you need to check the face because uh, has she has a yes. high drooping. You need to, to check the face yes. and to do the jitter in order yeah, to be sure. They did a lot of investigations to reach to the diagnosis. Mm -hmm. And um, did you check the thymus? If, if thymus gland? No, but she, she has no antibodies. Not. She did a CT chest. There was no account about the thymus. Okay. Mm. Yes. No yeah. thymus. She did CT chest, uh, a style clean receptor antibody, anti-mask. All are negative. CK is normal. And the, and the uh, symptomatology is fluctuating or not? Or is fixed? It's gradually progressive. It only started becoming regressive after she received rituximab. But otherwise, over the past five years, it has been gradually progressive. With fluctuation in the no day or no? fluctuation in the uh, day. More or less, no. She says it's more prominent in the morning. The symptoms are more the severe morning, in the more morning. More prominent. Not yeah, morning. Not, no diurnal. Uh, the, the variability, it's not fatigable. Yeah. And has she stretch signs? There was mild stretch in the lower limbs. Uh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yes. And she doesn't have any thyroid uh, alteration, no, diabetes. No, she thyroid profile. It's normal. Nothing. Okay, migraine, migraine. Mm, I'm sorry? Migraine, migraine. No, she migraine. doesn't report any symptoms of headache or other neurological symptoms. And in the family, is there someone who has uh, the same things? Mm, no, she's the only one, and non consanguineous parents. Mm -hmm. Because the thing is that uh, the ptosis, if it is related to a mitochondrial disorder, if you operate, it, it, it go back. Yes, this so, is exactly what happened. She mm -hmm. did surgery and it returned. And this could go well with the neuropathy that they found. It could go well with the, 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 the muscular weakness and the fatigability. They don't go well with the response to rituximab, but uh, usually you have to wait more. So she reported improvement after a single dose of rituximab. Mm. Okay. And um, then we will examine. And uh, you didn't do a muscle biopsy? No, no muscle no. biopsy. Mm. Yes, we can do searching for mitochondrial yes. myopathy. Yeah, to exclude the mitochondrial okay. myopathy formally. Okay. Okay, and uh, now, so the, her therapy now after the rituximab? Um, she's still waiting for her next dose, uh, mm -hmm. and that's it. She's, what she's, is improved in uh, on said, rituximab? She said she's able to climb stairs with less difficulty than okay. before, okay. and her sensory symptoms are improving. She's able to feel the ground a little better. So she has sensory symptoms. Mm -hmm. And did you do a lumbar puncture? Ah, CSF, CSF yes, she did. Sure. Uh, no oligoclonal bands, normal proteins, glucose, uh, LDH, normal. IgG. It was normal. Yeah. normal. Okay, let's examine. Okay. يلا مع الدكتور يحمد. معلش يا جماعة اليوم طويل بس معنا عيانين وفرصة هو يعني نعذبه شوية معانا.